Not too long ago, I made a short documentary about Telepoint, mainly focused around a system called Rabbit. CT2, better known by its marketing name Telepoint, is a cordless telephony standard that was used in the early 1990s to provide short-range proto-mobile phone services in some countries in Europe. Made famous mostly by Rabbit, but set up by three other companies in the UK during the late 1980s and early 1990s, a telepoint service was seen as providing an alternative form of mobile communications that was cheaper for the operators to set up and run than a mobile phone network. In turn, it would offer customers a cheaper product as during this time, mobile phone technology was still extremely expensive. In short, the idea of a telepoint system is that customers have a cordless telephone and base station unit in their homes which worked like any other cordless phone system. However, the phone could be taken outside and used in the vicinity of a telepoint access point. When in range of one of these access points, customers could use their phones to make telephone calls. One downside was that it wasn't possible to receive calls because the system was not a mobile phone network. These access points were located in large numbers in various public spaces such as the high street, railway stations, bus stations, local shops and motorway services and I recently managed to track down two rabbit system antennas that are still in situ and have survived nearly 30 years of neglect. This first one is above a vape shop in Stockport and is in remarkably good condition for its age. Any other supporting equipment for the rabbit base station has long since been removed but the antenna still survives with the short length of coax and the original bracket all being extremely rusted. I can't find what sort of business was in this shop around the time of Telepoint and Rabbit, but I'm guessing probably a news agent or something similar. The frequencies used by the Rabbit system were later repurposed for license free radio microphones, commonly referred to as Channel 70, and the base station aerials, a short white stick collinear with a TNC connector made by Raycal, could be found at radio rallies, missold as wideband scanner antennas for many years after the demise of Rabbit, and they still appear on eBay nowadays. This second antenna is above a chip shop in Wigan and isn't in as good a condition as the Stockport one but it's still very much intact and as you can see the setup and installation is identical to the other antenna. They both use the same bracket and antenna, the only difference is the Wigan one has discoloured. I'm not sure if this premises was a chip shop back in the early 1990s or not, I'd hazard a guess that it wasn't and it was probably some sort of corner shop. So I hope you enjoyed this brief and interesting look back into telecommunications history and one of my favourite defunct services, Rabbit. If you know of any other base station antennas still in place then please be sure to let me know. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions then leave them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.